Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> this is an off-the-grid runes reading, which is timeless. So, yeah, off the grid. We're in Utah, in case every anybody's wondering. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and pick five runes here. Here's the first one, which is the overview. Challenge. Action. Sacrifice. And what is a new situation going to be all about? New situation. Okay. Now I'm going to choose three animal totems. This is for one person. This is for another person. Or it can be the same person's energy. If you're not dealing with anyone. And this is a, a runes, uh, a final rune that will, you know, embody the whole reading. I also have some uh, boggles here, so I gotta kind of, I gotta kind of feel around because it's hard to feel around for these. I gotta try and see how many I can fit in my hand. However many I can fit in my hand is however many we will use. I can find <laughs> because sometimes it's hard to find it. I think I got oh no. So we have the letter S, we have the letter R, we have the letter L, we have the letter M, and we have the letter P. So this could be somebody's first, middle, or last initial, okay? Or maybe you could spell a word with it. All right. Oh, look, we have the E also. Sorry, I didn't, I, I didn't see that one. So we also have an E. So the top letters are what we're using. So that could be, you know, somebody's first, middle, or last initial. Can you guys see that? It's probably better if I put it on this side so you could see it better. Let me see. Can you guys see that better? Sorry, guys. Didn't I say no, whoa, whoa? If you guys want a treat, you have to be quiet. <laughs> trying to bribe my dogs with treats for them to be quiet. We're at a campsite. We're at a really nice place. But anyways, let's just keep going. All right. <laughs> let's check out what the overview of the reading is going to be. Oh, it's kind of like the less than or equal... Uh, two, but it's like together, right? But this represents harvest, okay? This is somebody's energy. Somebody feels like they're in their heart. They're harvesting things, you know, they're doing well, you know, things are going good, reaping the harvest. So somebody may have planted some seeds and, you know, you plant the seeds, you nourish the seeds and you watch them grow so you can harvest them, right? Good job. Hold on, you guys. Let me take care of something so we don't have to be interrupted. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to make it so we don't have too many interruptions. All right. <laughs> so definitely somebody is trying to uh, harvest whatever they've been nurturing, right? And this is someone's energy. This is the overview of the whole reading, actually. Somebody will be harvesting whatever that they've been, they've planted, you know, whatever they've been nourishing, because you can't plant something and expect it to grow without nourishing it, right? Right. So somebody here has done the work and they're going to go ahead and harvest whatever it is that they've been working on, right? Whatever they've been taking care of. So let's go ahead and find the next one. This is the, um, <clears throat> it looks like an upside down broom kind of, right? 
but this is the challenge here and this is about protection right uh, there's no protection in this energy right and you know it may just as well be because um maybe somebody doesn't need it right maybe you know you know this can also represent, now that I think about it, okay, it just popped into my head. I don't know, like, you know, we have harvest, right? This is like giving birth to new, uh, <laughs> giving birth to new uh, stuff, right? You're going to, you're, you're going to harvest your stuff because it's like new vegetables, right? Okay, get this. <laughs> This is about protection, right? It's in the reverse, though. This is not going to resonate with everybody, but I feel like somebody may have had a child. Somebody didn't use protection. <laughs> and they harvested what? A child. Yeah, so this is something that, you know, there could have been an accidental pregnancy. Let's hope that you guys are together. It's not a one night stand. You've known each other for a substantial amount of time. Let's hope that's the, you know, let's hope that's the case for the child's sake, right? But that's what I'm catching so far here, right? <clears throat> um, let's go ahead now and find out what is the action that someone's going to take here, right? Because if somebody did have a child, it doesn't even need to be a, a child, right? Somebody may not have, okay, I'm getting another thought now. Somebody may have not been uh, protected in a certain um, action that they did. It doesn't have to be like sex or anything. I mean, like working on something, a project or whatever, right? Somebody maybe uh, told another person, oh, you should... You know, you should get insurance on that because, you know, you never know. And, and, and I feel like maybe somebody didn't. Somebody may not have taken somebody's word on something. And they were right. Maybe, you know, I don't know. They, they might have been. Because out of this whole thing, the overview of this reading is that you're harvesting something, right? And maybe you didn't go and get that insurance or whatever, you know, whatever it was you, you, you somebody told you you might need. But, you know, you're, you're definitely harvesting from it. So let's, that's another story. Okay, so let's find out um, what kind of action, right? All right. This is the warrior stone, right? So there was no victory in this situation, right? It's in reverse. This is about going through battle, going through something, blah, blah, blah. There is no victory in your situation or in someone's situation, right? This is an action someone took, right? Uh, somebody may have tried to, oh, okay. Somebody may have tried to mess up someone's harvest because they didn't protect themselves or they weren't protected or whatever the case may be. But I'll tell you what, whatever action someone took, uh, they didn't succeed, right? This is the warrior Usually it's, it looks like this, right? If it looks like that, that means that this person, you know, victory in battle, right? Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, this is, a, this is in the reverse though. So there was no victory for someone here. So this, we could be dealing with two people, right? Someone who, who harvested and nurtured something, but they didn't get the protection that maybe somebody asked for. They didn't use protection or, you know, whatever, something like that, you know. Maybe somebody didn't get actual physical type of protection because they felt like they might have been protected by the universe. Or maybe they felt like, I, you know, I've been doing everything right. I haven't been burning no one. I haven't been hurting no one. I haven't been cheating, lying, and stealing. So maybe, you know, this is why somebody didn't feel like they needed to get any kind of protection for whatever it is that they're harvesting, you know, um, they didn't feel any worry, you know, maybe they're in, in, uh, an environment where nothing can go wrong. You know, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, nothing can go wrong. Right. 
you're working on a project or, you know, it depends really actually also because uh, if you're working with dangerous material then and you're by yourself, that's uh, probably not a safe thing to do, right? But I don't think it's like that. I think it's something that's, you know, different. It's not dangerous. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but uh, somebody here may have tried to um, mess somebody's harvest up like mess it up or screw it up or get someone in trouble. But I'll tell you what, it didn't work because that person is still going to reap the harvest. Okay. So now we have here the sacrifice, you know, and it's kind of pointing to the sacrifice. So it might be because I'm kind of getting that feeling that whoever was here who didn't have success, who was trying to ruin somebody's harvest See so what kind of action there. Wow. You know, it's been a while since I got a lot of these things in reverse. We have constraint here. Okay. Either way you turn it, it kind of looks the same, but it's still, it's still a little bit different. All right. Um, I feel like it's in the reverse. And the action is, is somebody didn't constrain themselves, right? Somebody could have, you know, should have stopped themselves from acting stupid is what I feel. Somebody was trying to hurt somebody or do something bad to somebody or make them fail or just trying to do the worst to somebody. You know, the action they should have took is they should have constrained themselves from doing that because I have a feeling because they did that, now they look stupid for all this stuff they did because somebody here is still reaping the sowing or reaping the harvest. And, and the reason why they're reaping this harvest is because they worked hard to get there. They didn't just skip steps. They put in the work and somebody here was trying to block this person from getting that harvest. But I get, but I'll tell you what, it didn't work because when you're good, you're honest, you don't lie, you don't cheat, you don't steal, you don't do anything bad to others. This is what you get. You get the harvest. And whoever's trying to hurt you gets this. No success, you know, no protection, right? Somebody could have, you know, another thing is somebody could have been talking a lot of smack about someone but they didn't protect their words or, or their, the proof or they didn't have proof or something like that. And so when this person started, you know, gaining their harvest, getting all the whatever they deserve, the good stuff, this person now is starting to look stupid. Okay. So, you know, before we get to the final, final outcome, let's find out uh, about the runes. Okay, this could be a person's energy and this could be another person's energy. If you're not dealing with anybody, this could be your energy altogether. But I think there's two energies here. Somebody trying to ruin somebody's harvest, right? Somebody's got the harvest. They're happy. They're doing good. Somebody's trying to screw it up, trying to make them fail, trying to make them look bad. But it's all backfiring on them. Because there is no success here. Okay? The first stone. Okay. This is the dragon. Right? <clears throat> so with the dragon, it's wisdom and mobility. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see? There we are. It's a dragon. Now, you know what? Yes, it's a rune, and this is like a Native American type of thing. I mean, not a rune, a totem, animal totem. But the dragon here can also represent, you know, Chinese astrology, year of the dragon. Somebody could be year of the dragon. Somebody here, either this person or this person is harvesting right now. Or this person is the one who's failing right now, who got burned because they tried to burn someone else, someone who was good. Somebody tried to mess with someone who was good 
and they got burned. So that's, you know, I'm feeling that this is the dragon energy. Okay. Now we also have, this is, <laughs> it's kind of hard to see, right? But we have the frog. Can you guys? You see it? So now we have, you know, we have the frog here. And, 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 you know, people, you know, people say bad stuff about the frog, you know, you kiss your prince and stuff. it can be, you know, it's, it's not like that, though. It's not like that. The frog uh, represents emotional healing and cleansing. Because, you know, oh, that's why. Okay. So I have a feeling that this dragon energy, right? This is the person. They thought they were so smart. They thought they were so smart. They were trying to ruin someone's harvest. Someone who's going through some sort of emotional healing and cleansing. Somebody who's putting in the work. Right? I feel like this person is the one who has, who has been the mean one. The one who has been trying to hurt someone. The one who has been trying to make someone stumble and fall and whatever. And I feel that this one, this harvest one, is this person who is going through this emotional healing and cleansing. So this is a story that could resonate with a lot of people, right? In, a, in different ways, okay? Because I wasn't specific. But if you are a person who's trying to go through some sort of emotional healing and cleansing yourself and trying to become a good person, working on yourself, planting seeds, doing everything the right way, and then eventually you, you start seeing the harvest come in, this is you. You are the one receiving the harvest. Now, if you're not going through any emotional healing or cleansing or fixing yourself and you're just, you know, whatever, you're, you're this dragon. Okay. And you could be the one that's trying to hurt to this little frog right here. That's what I feel like. I feel like we have a dragon person who's trying to hurt this frog person right here. This person who's trying to heal themselves. We have someone here who is definitely trying to hurt somebody. Right. But because all these runes are in reverse, except for this one, this one is the equal one, uh, this person is failing. Right? Nobody likes to fail, but if you're trying to hurt another person, you can trust if that other person is good and honest and fair and whatever, oh, it just started sprinkling, you guys. But if you're trying to hurt somebody who's good, honest, and fair, doesn't hurt others, doesn't lie or cheat or steal or harm anyone, then this is your energy of failure right here. So we got two energies right here for sure. All right. <clears throat> now, the, the, the overview of the whole reading so far that we have here, we have the otter, right? It doesn't necessarily mean both these people are going to be feeling uh, the otter energy because the otter is all about playfulness and efficiency, right? Can you see that little guy? I'm trying to show you guys. It's hard to see. That's the otter, okay? I'm going to put this over here. This belongs over here, okay? The otter belongs over here. Because we've got playfulness, we've got efficiency, and, and that's what somebody who is going through some sort of emotional cleansing will, will experience because if they did everything the right way. And in the reading, it looks like they have, okay? When it comes to the person who's trying to do harm, I don't feel like they're going to get anywhere. I also feel that people are going to see that they've been lying or doing wrong, and in the end, it's failure for them. And hopefully in the long run, 
that this person can learn from that failure. Somebody may have been guided to hurt this person. Or maybe this person is just evil-minded and, and is pissed off because someone is doing well. And, and, you know, that's the case a lot of the time. People always want to hurt someone who's doing well. You know what I mean? Let me see if I can... Can you guys see everything okay? Yeah, I guess you could see it good enough. So, yeah, that's what we have here. So now let's see what's, you know, what is the the new situation going to be like because of all this garbage that's going on. This is garbage, right? These three right here, good stuff, right? We have an R in the reverse. So it shows me that no one's going to make any movement after this, right? I'm sorry, this means journey. I just called it an R because it looks like an R right? It's journey. That's what it means, okay? This is about somebody taking a journey, but it's in reverse. It's not going anywhere, right? This could also kind of have to do with someone's car. Maybe somebody's car's not working or, or something, but somebody's not going to take a journey, you know, with this person or involving this person or something like that because they failed, right? Somebody tried to hurt somebody that was doing well. This is kind of like the back in the background. You know what I mean? These four down here, it's like in the background, somebody failed at trying to hurt somebody. Good. Because you guys, you know, evil never prevails. Liars, cheaters, evil people, people that want to hurt someone, people that slander others' names, that's all bad karma coming to you. So there's no success there. But unlike this person, they're going to reap the rewards. And all the work that this dragon guy did to try to hurt somebody, it's failure. <laughs> it's failure. It's I, I don't know any other way to tell you what this is, but that's what it is. Somebody here tried to hurt another person while this possibly while this person was healing or trying to fix themselves, their emotional state. And I feel like they had the success, which is why they're re re uh, receiving this harvest. But this person... You shouldn't have messed. You shouldn't have been evil or, you know, whatever this is that you tried to. Somebody here was evil and mean and nasty. And that's why they failed. You hear that rain, you guys? I don't know if you can. Anyhow. Um, if it does resonate and it sounds like, yeah, you know what? I am doing well. And those people who are trying to hurt me, they're all hating life right now. If it resonates like that for you, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, uh, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay um, calm and cheerful. You know what I mean? And when you're calm and cheerful and you're doing well, you're always going to have people in the background trying to hurt you. You just got to monitor those emotions. And keep on doing the emotional healing that you've been doing. And then, you know, these people will just fade away. All right? So I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll talk to you next time.